Testing. Testing. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. We're starting out our investigation at the canyon. The main artifact is large, pyramid shapes, and appears to have some sort of an entrance at the top. We'll start closer examination tomorrow after a good night's sleep. Very exciting. These stone tablets seem to tell some ancient legend, but it's as if the markings have been somehow scratched off. Our electronics equipment keep malfunctioning near this site. Oh, and, there's an eerie glow around the stone ring at night. No apparent source for the light, yet it glows. We'll need to come back to this later, I'm sure there's a way to and read the legend. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. Notes on the pyramid. Last night, I swear we heard a cry for help inside the pyramid. Very creepy. The team got so anxious that we decided to play it safe and fill the structure with cyanide gas before attempting entry. The voices seem to have stopped now, so it was probably just some wildlife. Supplemental. We've waited for two days but the gas is not evaporating for some reason. It's weird, but it's not the weirdest thing we've encountered on the island. We'll need to get the gas masks from our jungle camp if we are to enter. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. Well, the gas masks are gone. Apparently the beachhead station took them during their last resupply mission. They also reported some strange phenomenon deeper in the jungle. Intriguing. We better head that way. We'll just take one detour to see the new artifact discovered at the Site B. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. The architecture and items found at the Site B definitely match the ones found at the canyon. One of the artifacts found is a pouch full of small glowing beads. These are exactly like the one my mother has in her necklace. So, I guess she was right. A team of selected people will follow me deeper into the overgrown jungle. Not sure if we should be worried, but we have lost all contact with the beachhead station. Abby signing out. We have arrived at the Temple Pass. The architecture is very intriguing. It looks like there's even some rudimentary technology inside. However, there's no clear way to pass through. But we're adamant we'll find a solution soon enough. Supplemental. We noticed that there has been some trouble with our timekeeping. It is almost like the flow of time is being affected by some anomaly. Maybe it's just exhaustion on our part. Abby signing out. The beachhead outpost looks like it has been hastily abandoned. Where could they have gone? Most of the items have been just left. No sign of the gas mask though. Supplemental. I found William's journal. This is deeply disturbing. Why would they do this? We should follow them. Going north and following the river should take us past the temple ground into their new camp. Abby signing out. Campsite looks empty and neglected. No gas masks. Really frustrating. It looks like the station crew have made camp and then continued through the Rocky Mountain path. We'll follow them. I should also mention I felt some unusual mental discomfort during our trek through the wilderness. Am I starting to go crazy? Abby signing out. I am all alone, and badly wounded. I'm hoping Crown received my message and help is on the way. I fear all my colleagues are dead. We shouldn't have come here. Supplemental. Still alone and waiting. If anyone finds this recording, please listen carefully.
I understand it all now. We set it free. It's what we did at the pyramid. Will it happen to me too when I die? Message to all survivors, head for the Pioneers Park in the middle of the city. We are able to provide shelter for you there. 